Hello, my name is Tony Botting, and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. In this video, we'll show the new tracer functionality in Flow Simulation 2012. Here's a room where we start a fire and look at a tracer study of carbon monoxide concentration in the air on two different vented designs of the room. Here we have the inlet vents open to ambient pressure. And here's the room design with one exit fan in the ceiling running about 211 cubic feet per minute. We'll start a fire on this surface by using a 1500 watt source. The goal here is to look at the fluid temperature. So here's two cut plots showing the air temperature results. This is the first step in using the tracer functionality. To model the carbon monoxide coming off the fire, right click on tracer studies and choose wizard. There are good instructions in here. We'll leave the name as tracer study 1 and click the next button. On this dialog, we can specify the fluid to be traced. I'll click the Edit button so you can see the entries in the engineering database. You can make up your own if you like. Here's the predefined entry, and I'll locate the CO and show the diffusion graph. We'll close that and choose the CO from the dropdown and add it to the lower panel. OK, now we'll click on the Next button. This next panel has a time-dependent option. We'll look at steady state, so we'll click the Next button. This area shows for initial concentration in the entire domain, which of course is zero. We'll now specify where the CO comes from, which is the surface used as the heat source, so we'll find it in the tree and use that. We'll specify a concentration of CO in the input dialog. We click Next, and now we can run the study. Remember, this is a post processing operation, so you don't have to remesh or resolve for the carrier fluid. And you can see here the tracer study is finished, so I'll close this dialog. So after it's done, we'll go ahead and insert a plot. But this time, we'll pull down the tracer mass fraction of carbon monoxide. I'll adjust the scale so you can see it a little better. On the animation, you can see the concentration collecting at the ceiling since we only have one outlet. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison showing the original one outlet model and a second with two ceiling outlets. You can see the CO concentration is dramatically reduced by a factor of 4 in some places. In this video, we've shown how to use the tracer functionality in SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation 2012.